Good morning to all. Dear student, hope all of you are fine by the grace of God. After a gap of few days, now we came back, back again to our class. So, today in the computer class, I will start the chapter 6 that is introduction to MS Excel 2010. But before starting our class, please be ready with your book. Introduction to MS Excel 2010 Introduction MS Excel is a spreadsheet package. It is used for storing data in the form of rows and columns. It uses the concept of displaying data in the form of tables. This data can also be represented by the use of chart and graphs. So, MS Excel is what is this a spreadsheet? A spreadsheet means have you seen a MS Excel page here? It is like a one table. The rows and col columns and rows are there. Okay, so it's the image of a, a Microsoft Excel. So it is used for storing data in the form of what? This these are uh, these lines are called as the rows and columns. It uses concept of displaying data in the form of table. Okay. Some of the main advantages of using ML, uh, Excel are listed below. What are the advantages of MS Excel are given here? Number one, calculation. Numbers and calculation are managed efficiently in MS Excel. A formula once written can be easily copied to the rest of the worksheet. Means each page of a MS Excel are called as the worksheet. If any changes are made in the values, the new calculation is automatically performed. So, calculation is very easy and efficient to do in the MS Excel because once the formula will be written, it will be copied in the rest of all the worksheets and if there will be any changes in the rows and columns or any changes in the uh, calculation, automatically it will perform to the next rows. Okay. Number two, database management. Data is a collection of values in the form of rows and columns. The data can be easily created and maintained in MS Excel 2010. Finding a value and sorting of the data is also easily taken care of. Okay. So, here the data can be managed very uh, efficiently in the rows and columns and it is very easy to find out. Charts. The pictorial representation of data is called a chart. You can create a variety of chart in MS Excel like pie chart, column chart and bar, ch bar graph. You also make use of 3D effect also. Starting MS Excel 2010. How to start the MS Excel 2010? There are two ways to open MS Excel 2010. Number one, double click on the Microsoft Excel 2010 icon. Look, this is the icon for MS Excel 2010. So, if you double click in this uh, icon on the desktop, then your MS Excel application will be open. Or, click on start menu. You have to go to the start menu here, down, okay. Means not here, but in the desktop down, you will get the start menu. You have to click on the start menu. Then you have to go to the all programs, Microsoft Office, then Microsoft Office Excel 2010. Number two, MS Excel 2010 window will be open and this window will look like this. Here the rows are there, many rows and many columns you will find there. Here is the formula bar where you can write the formula. Okay, here quick access toolbar, here's the tools are there name box here you can write the name uh, names are there okay so these are the this is the uh, page of a microsoft excel important terms which are used in the ms excel are worksheet or seats a worksheet seat is a collection of cell in the form of rows and columns there are by default three worksheets set, uh, set in a workbook. These are represented in the form of tab and the bottom left corner of the 
window so oxit or sit is a what a collection of a cells uh, cells in the form of rows and column this means it is okay and here in one workbook it is a workbook three sets so you will get three worksheet one two and three worksheet you will get okay then what is a workbook collection of sheets is known as workbook it can hold many worksheets the name of the default workbook is book one columns columns are arranged vertically they these are represented as letter from a to z and then a a to a z as so on there are a total of 16384 columns in the worksheet shown only columns a to u are displayed use the horizontal scroll bar to see the columns on the right of the screen so here these are the these are the columns a to u are displayed here more are there if you scroll it then you can find out more columns are there okay so these are the columns it is names are given and total how many columns are there 16384 columns are there rows rows are the arranged horizontally these are numbered from 1 to 1 uh, 1 to 1 lakh 48000 sorry 10 lakh 48576 okay the last row is this much is that 10 lakh 48576 in the worksheet zone only rows 1 to 24 are displayed use the vertical scroll bar to see the rows below cell a cell is the intersection of a rows and column each cell can store a single item of data this data can be tax number or a data date value so each interaction means here each small box this one each small box rows columns both interact and make a small small box and that boxes are called as the cell cell reference cell reference is the column letter and row number identifying a single cell for example, A1 is the cell reference of the selected cell in the worksheet shown. A cell reference can be thought of a cell's address. The address of the first cell in a worksheet is A1. Then the cell range. Cell range is a collection of selected continuous cells. Every cell range has a name, just as every cell has a unique name and cell address. A cell range name consists of address of the first cell, a colon and the last cell address. For example, A1 uh, ratio A6, B1 ratio G8 like that. The smallest range is a single cell and the largest range is a, an entire worksheet. To select a cell range in the worksheet, press the left mouse button at D4. You have to press the left mouse button at D4. Drag it diagonally to E13. So you can drag it diagonally to E13. Here, example is given here. Okay. According to that, it's a 4. So it is a D. D4, you have to click the left button. Then it's, you can bring it down to what? E13. Till here, E13. Okay then after that you release the mouse button after that you can release the mouse button active cell the selected cell is called the active cell it is displayed with a bold black border okay these are this is selected cell because it is a active uh, active cell okay it's a bordered in a black uh, line in the worksheet in figure 6.3 cell d3 is the active cell okay the column letter and the row number corresponding to the active cell gets highlighted 
type data to place it on the active cell name box the name box displays the cell reference of the active cell which is d3 in the worksheet shown here then the cell pointer the mouse pointer changes to a plus sign when the mouse pointer is on the worksheet if you use the mouse uh, work in the mouse uh, pointer in the worksheet then you will see this type of sign it's a plus sign okay then the formula bar the formula bar is a long bar present above the column of a worksheet it is used to insert the formula to solve a problem and the formula always start with equal sign you can change the formula of a cell either by editing that cell or by changing the formula in the formula bar how to insert tags numbers and formulas inserting tags numbers Follow these steps to enter tax and or number in an MS Excel 2010 worksheet. Number one, the cells where data has to be entered should be made active. Number two, type the value and press enter. Number three, on clicking the formula bar, two small buttons appear on its left. A, a cancel button with a symbol of a cross. This one, this is used to cancel the data entry without having to place the delete key. Number B, an enter button with a symbol of a tick mark. This is used to uh, used to enter data without having to place the enter key. Inserting formulas, it begins with an equal sign. Any kind of formula can be created in MS Excel. Once the formula is entered, the calculation is executed immediately. And the formula itself is visible in the formula bar. The formula can include the addresses of the cell whose value will be manipulated with appropriate operator placed in between. The formula may consist of number one only values for example isocal 5 plus 5 number two combination of a number and a cell address for example a1 plus 3 number three only cell address for example equal d2 plus e2 cell alignment Cells can contain tax numbers or mathematical formula by default. Number one, tax entries are left aligned. Number two, numbers are right aligned. Number three, formulas begin with equal sign. These are left aligned before the enter key is pressed. After pressing the enter key, it gives the answer in numbers which are right aligned or text which is left aligned.